Hello, so this is going to be a video on electric lighters and the different designs out there. Annoyingly, one of my electric lighters I can't find, but I think um, some of these are very similar in design to it anyway, so it won't really matter, and there's old videos of the V-Way lighter. But, okay, so this one, um, the battery for it's recharging at the moment because it was totally flat, but I can still demonstrate how it would work. So with this one, you open the top, and it has basically a metal kind of coil in there, and what would happen is that heats up a bit like a toaster would, and you light the cigarette off of that. Works also a bit like the sort of cigarette lighters you'd have in a car. Um, these are probably the weakest designs of all of them. This one's kind of a combined power bank one, so it's one you can actually charge USBs from and everything once it's got a full battery. Um, so it just takes an 18650 battery inside this one. A lot of these are a lot more slimline, like USB size things. Um, they're probably quite practical if you're using them just for cigarettes or whatever, but in terms of what some of these lighters can do, these are probably the weakest ones. Now, this is an interesting type one. These are like the stick type electric arc lighters. You get some of these that have flexi uh, things like that. So these are the equivalent with electric lighters of the sort of safety gas lighters, whatever you want to call them, home lighters, the regular type. So with these, you push this up, that gets the probe to be exposed, then you push down this button and it works. So as you can see, shoots a beam of um, electricity across there and it lights whatever's in the middle. So the good thing with this design is as much as it's not a very convenient shape to put in your pocket, you can reach most things with it. So depending on what you want to use it for, yeah, you can light fires and things like that fine with it. The problem, and I'll go over this again, although I've mentioned it a lot of times before in older videos, the problem with electric arc lighters is, in general, electric lighters, a lot of companies selling them, or, um, you know, manufacturing and selling them, will make lots of claims of all the things they can do, and a lot of them can't do the things they claim. If you're just buying it simply to light cigarettes or whatever, that's absolutely fine. I think all of them would do that fine. The issue is lots of them say they can light candles, they can light campfires, you know. They'll claim to do all the things a regular sort of a Bic, a Clipper, a Zippo, you know, any of those could do when they actually can't. Now, speaking about Zippos, here's one that's meant to look like a Zippo from the outside with a Zippo style case, but as you can see, it's got the dual arc in there. So they crisscross over the middle. Now, a thing you need to be aware of with some of these lighters, which is the problem I had initially with the V-Way one, is with some of them, they've put the um, elements, in a sense, in a position where you can't easily get at them, which is really frustrating, because um, that's what limits the potential to light stuff with it. The more the lid opens, which you'll see on the last one, the more effective these are as lighters. So, as I said, you know, because with most lighters, they're slimline enough that you can stick them somewhere and light it. So you were trying to light a pipe or a candle in a jar or whatever. The problem with these is, of course, that with some of these, the lids won't open very far and the arc isn't very exposed. This is the Explorer, which is advertised as basically a waterproof electric arc lighter. So it sits inside a case like this, pops open, and there you go, you've got your four little arcs. The good thing with these lighters is, when you actually put something inside there, they light very, very easily. They are incredibly efficient at actually setting stuff on fire once it's inside there, even if it's quite damp or whatever. The um, issue of the same with them is just they can't reach many places. And this one's called the 4U, I think it was, but lots of these are just rebranded. So you switch this one on, on the bottom, if I get that in frame. Then you open it up, and there we go, 4U. Um, and it's got the quad arc sort of thing again, double arc, whatever you want to call it. But on this one, you can see it's actually completely exposed, because you could put your thumb on it if you wanted to, not that I'd recommend um, burning yourself with it. But the point is with this one, that you can light things far more easily, if I get that back in frame. Because, say you had a candle or whatever, you can do this put it into the jar and light it, um, where a lot of them can't do that. Now, the only thing that's gone wrong with this, it originally had a magnetic lid on this, which was meant to stay closed. The magnet's long since broken off and stopped working. Um, but this is probably the best design out of all the ones I've got, just because, as said, it's the most slim line. I'm kind of tempted with this one, actually, now, just to break the lid off of this one, because, you know, it just gets in the way and it doesn't stay on anyway, and just have it as a, um, you know, one you can just use like that. Yeah, these are the best designs out of all the ones I've seen so far. The good things of these is when I got my first one, and I said I couldn't find it for this video, it was about £20 for something pretty much equivalent to this, but just with a case that wasn't as good. Um, now these are coming under £10 for models like this. Some of the models are still closer to £20 like this, but they're the much better ones. Um, as I said, you can get versions of this that have like the twisty kind of um, top bit, so you can use it to light stuff in more awkward angles. And you can get the ones that are just like the old-fashioned cigarette lighter kind of car ones, 
that use a coil or that are like this sort of combined power bank and everything else but I wouldn't really recommend this type um, unless you wanted the multi-functionality of it just because as a lighter it's not as practical as some of the others but there you go again it's more of a gadget thing really the nice thing of these is obviously you can charge them via USB um, you don't need fuel and flints or anything like that but you know it's got the drawbacks of everything that uses a battery and needs recharging and the pros of everything that's got a battery and needs recharging so hopefully this video has been interesting if you find these sort of lighters you know interesting um, as I said there are pros and cons of these designs um, hopefully they'll continue coming down in price which I'm sure they will um, you'll get longer lasting batteries and you'll get ones with better thought out designs like this one where you can use it more practically than some of the older ones where the lid would only open part way um, and you know it wouldn't work unless uh, the lid was open fully and you know it was all those sort of problems where it meant it massively restricted what you could do it, use it for as a lighter but there you go different types of electric arc lighters or just electric USB lighters.